Mac Media Day continues here from Ford Field in Detroit, Michigan on Cleveland.com and M Live. And the Miami Redhawks are in the house. Yes, Maurice sir. Thomas, yes, sir. fifth year senior running back, and Doug Costin, defensive lineman who just creates some havoc uh, <laughs> defensively. 10.5 tackles for loss, seven sacks, 28 solos, two forced fumbles. Uh, Doug, you, you seem to like to get in the backfield a little bit. Tell me, tell me a little bit uh, just about the mindset that you had there. My mindset is basically just create havoc, like you said. I want to get in the backfield, want to cause turnovers, big plays, because we can get the ball back to our offense. I'm confident they're going to score. So I just want to get it back to them as much as I can. Doug, you're a, um, a, a watch list for the Chuck Bednarik Award for uh, most outstanding defensive player in college football. So um, does that motivate you, to just the, the whole – we think you're really good. Right. I mean, it does motivate me, yes, but just being on that watch list is an honor to me. I never really thought I could be there. It's kind of eye-opening. It kind of made me very excited for the season just to prove like what I can do and also what the whole team can do as well. So definitely add a little motivation, but it's not, it's not something I would be disappointed if I wasn't on at the end of the year. Maurice Thomas, fifth-year senior, uh, yep. a local guy. So yep. was it a dream in high school at Telwanda High to, to go play for the Red Hawks? And, yeah, and you know, both of my parents actually went to Miami. Miami mergers is what they call it. So I've always knew the campus life, and um, I was always around. I went to the dining halls sometimes with them. And um, it was just a great fit, a beautiful campus. And once they offered me, I committed on the spot. So that was how excited are you that uh, you're going to get a chance to carry the football and, and kind of be a, oh, be a leader? And oh, it's so exciting. You know, we had some great guys last year, Kenny and Zoe, and I'm, I'm just ready to fill their big shoes and just give it all I can. So, uh, You returned five starters on offense, four starters on defense. You guys won your last three um, mm -hmm. last year. Is there some momentum that carries over into that, just the way you were playing, and, and you have a decent amount of starters back? I would say defensively there's definitely a lot of momentum because obviously – a lot of starters, you said, we only returned four, but at the same time, we still had a lot of kids towards the end of the year because starters got hurt. They had, they had experience, so everyone's basically coming back. So I feel like there's a lot of momentum coming into the season. Yeah, and on the offensive side of the ball, we had a very strong spring ball. We have two great quarterbacks that are competing it out, and we're just really excited for the season. So It, it seems like that competition will carry. Uh, Gus Raglan, senior that graduated, yeah. really good quarterback, um, mm -hmm. helped the program quite a bit. But um, it seems like that quarterback battle is going to go right down to the wire. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're both great, outstanding, both have big attributes, and I'm just excited to see what happens. So, Confidence level. Are you guys confident that you can get it done? I know you were second to Ohio in the mm -hmm. uh, preseason uh, Mac East voting that uh, was released mm -hmm. today. Um, are you, confidence level, you guys? I'd say there is a confidence level, but also there's a known fact that in our league, anyone can beat anyone. So we want to be too confident, but we want to have that like certain amount of confidence going into every game. So I definitely feel like we're confident, but we know that we can't be overconfident or be cocky because we know that any day we can get beat. Yep, like you said, we're confident, but as Coach stressed, we take it one game at a time. So we go in there with the mindset that we're going to go in there and play our hearts out. So, Doug, you've got a lot of experience. Um, what do you want this defense to look like on the field? And you're going to be a leader, obviously. Correct. Uh, the way I want them to look, and I feel like everyone wants it the same way, we don't have one determined leader. It's kind of just everyone, and we listen to everyone. But we just want to be a hard-nosed defense. If you're going to try to run the ball on us, you're going to get four guys up front who are going to clog up the holes. We're going to have the linebackers coming up, corner safeties, everyone. And in the pass game, we wanted to be lockdown corners, the D-line getting after the pass rush. We just wanted to be, after you play us, we want you to say, dang, like that team, we see why, they're, why they do what they do. Um, Fair to say you, you kind of like getting after the quarterback. I, Correct, I, yes. <laughs> I did see the smile on your face when you mentioned that. Running style, Maurice, um, what do you want to be as, as a back? What, uh, if you're going to describe mm -hmm. to me what you can do. Oh, personally, it's all about speed. Speed kills, we all know that. So just getting on the edges and um, using my God-given gift, God gift to just run fast. And then um, I know like for offense, we're high intensity. Once we're on you, we want to keep going and um, just gas out the defense and Keep a high pace, high intensity. Maurice Thomas, Doug Costin, we appreciate the time. The Miami Red Hawks, good luck this year, guys. Appreciate Thank you. it. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you. Mid-American Conference Football Media Day will continue from Ford Field in Detroit, Michigan, here on Cleveland.com and MLive. Stay with us.